Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are back into the Halloween bow making today. We've already done a pumpkin. This is the pumpkin one, so we can put that one away. We've already done the ghost one, so we can pop him away. So today we need to pick our next one, and today I'm gonna go for the cat. So we'll pop these all away. So we've yet to do a witch's hat one, a spider and a bat. So we'll work on these in the coming weeks. I really wanted to get all of these done. I wanted to get a sample of each one made, obviously before beginning of October. And time is just flying by. So I thought, right, we need to get onto the third one at least today. So this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be using the tails and the wider loops from the double pinch bow. I've got some of this feather trim, which I'm going to use as well in the bow. Yeah. And I'm going to be using this Halloween printed ribbon and also this ribbon, because I thought that went well with this, and a black chunky glitter. So to start off with, I'm going to take my black chunky glitter and my templates and I'm going to draw around these both. So I'm going to draw around the tails and the loops and then cut them out. This is obviously a half template, so I'm gonna draw around this half, then flip it over, draw around the other half, and then cut out the whole piece. So there you have your loops cut out and the tails cut out, both in the black chunky glitter. Just to show you how big these templates are, because this double pinch bow is a really nice size. I like, I like to use a good size because the embellishments are quite large. So it's just over 10 centimeters across or four inches, it's a really nice size bow. The tails are two and a half inches high, six centimeters, and then across to the template, that is six, uh, 15 and a half centimeters, or just over six inches across. So that is the size of this template. Also cut my two strips of ribbon, and this ribbon is a one inch wide ribbon or 25 millimeters and I have cut this two pieces to 18 centimeters in length or seven just over seven inches in length and that is two pieces and I'm just going to heat seal those ends to prevent any frying I've got some UHU all-purpose glue this stuff is good to use while you're making your bow, just to hold your ribbon in place just before you sew it. That is really good for that. So first of all, I'm going to fold these in half to mark the centre. I'll just use a little bit of heat. The heat helps to get the crease in there. I'll do the same with the other piece. And then taking the glue, we're just going to pop a little bit along the edge and then overlapping it by around a half a centimetre to form a loop. I really like this ribbon, it's really cute with the cats on it, but you're not going to see too much of it time we get the centre piece on, but hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit because that is pretty. So I'm just doing the second piece now, overlapping that by around half a centimetre. So you've got two loops like this. And then I've got a needle and some double strength thread knotted at the end. And I'm going to take one of the loops. I'm just gonna work out what way I want it facing. So I'll do this one first because I want them both to be facing the right way up. And I'm just lining this crease up that we made with around halfway between that overlap as you can see the overlap there so around halfway i'm going to line that crease up with that and then i'm going to sew four stitches in one two three 
four and I'm sewing across that crease. And then we're going to get the other half and do the same, line the crease up halfway between the overlap and then sew four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to pull that tight to bring them together and then form a pinch. And then I'm going to wrap that around that center a few times to hold it in place. And just seal it off on the underside by going in a couple of times, one, and then on this one, I'm gonna go through this loop twice to form a knot. trim off this little loop here as well we don't want any excess cotton showing on the finished hair bow so you've got this little basic double tucks bow or double pinch bow like that so I'm just going to set that aside next I'm using my one centimeter wide orange and black ribbon and I'm going to work out the length I need it so I'm going to go I'm going to go for like a whiskers effect. I'm going to go for three. I'm going to line them up roughly with the same width as my loops. So about there. And I'm going to cut three. And one more. And then I'm going to make the ends into a little spiky V shape. So I'm going to do that by folding that in half. And then from this open corner, cutting down diagonally. And then open it up a little bit and then using the heat of the lighter to seal the end. The reason I'm opening it up a bit is because if you nip it together and then use the lighter, they'll stick together, that, that'll melt and bond together. But you want to open it up a little bit and then run your lighter across there to seal it. So that's like that. I'm going to do the same with all of the ends. And then we're going to crisscross these over like that across the middle. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start by folding it in half so I can see where the center is, placing some glue on there. And then just laying that across diagonally. And then take the second piece and then the last piece across the middle. And that just kind of reminds me of like cat's whiskers coming out. But it's also got all the colours to tie in all their different things on the bow. 
that's what you've got now. So I'm going to set that aside and then we can form Take our, loop. our loops. I'm just going to flip them over and place a little bit of glue on each of those ends. And then I'm going to bring them into the centre. And then we can place that on top of our tail. And then we can take our little bow that we made earlier and we can also place that on the top of the glitter loops. So this is what we've got so far. And next we can add our clip. So I'm gonna be using black one centimetre wide ribbon to line my clip with. The clip is a 55 millimetre clip. And I've cut this ribbon, one centimetre wide ribbon to 15 centimetres in length. I'm just going to heat seal the ends and then I'm going to start wrapping my clip so I'm just going to place some glue around a third of the way down around a couple of inches and I'm going to stick it on the underside push it into that pinch part and I'm just going to line the top half but I'm not going to go all the way around I'm going to just leave the rest of it. Make sure that lines up. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this part for now. I'm just going to stick this under my bow. I always place the glue on this part of the clip, not on the pinch part, because I don't like when people open the bow and they have to pinch the loops because you flatten the bow. So I always tell them to either pinch this part or just this part, which is why I don't pop glue on here. So there's not any need to pinch those loops that way. So that's on there nice and securely. And then I'm going to wrap some ribbon around my center. I'm just gonna go for this stripy ribbon around the center because to be honest, you won't see it when we add our little cap and our feather trim. So I've just cut a random size piece off by eye. And then I'm just gonna pop that under the clip and then start wrapping that around the center of the bow. I'm just gonna wrap it around one time. I don't think that'll need to go around twice. And then you can finish sticking this part over. And then that will just cover the piece that you've wrapped around the middle. And that just gives it a nicer finish like that because you've covered all of that part around the center. The bow is actually looking really nice already. You could just leave it like that if you wanted. But we're going to add our little cap and our feather trim. Now this part is messy. When you cut off your piece of trim, this makes such a mess. You get feathers fly off everywhere. So I've cut the piece off 
This is around six centimeters I've cut off. I'll just cut a random piece off and I'm going to kind of bring it round to form a circle like that and stick it behind my cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring some of those feathers outwards and then I'm going to place glue under my cat. And I'm going to start bringing this round in the glue. Just curling it round, pushing it down into the glue. And then I'm going to give it a little haircut, or fur cut, should I say. It's so soft, it actually does feel like cat fur. That actually reminds me of my bunny rabbits. I don't have a cat, and that feels like my bunny rabbits fur. So soft. I'll pop the links for all of this, the, the trim and the um, embellishments and the ribbon. I'll pop all that in the description under the video. So that just adds to that effect of that cat. I really like that. Now you could leave it all big and bushy like that, but you can't see much of the bow. So I'm going to give it a haircut. This is where it gets a bit messy. You might want to do this over a bin or something. I'm just going to do it on here because I want you to be able to see. So I'm going to start trimming off all of these long straggly bits. into it because I don't want it too neat. I want it a little bit straggly. I'll just tidy this mess. So now we're ready to glue this onto the center of our bow. So I'm just gonna move this around a little bit just so it's all nice and spread out evenly. That's all nice and even. And then I'm going to place a nice big bit of glue around that center. I'm try and keep this where I want it. Pop it in the middle. Push it down. There you have your finished Halloween witch's cat hair bow. You can just see these little cats poking out the side, which is what I wanted. I wanted you to at least be able to see a little bit of that lovely ribbon. And these little bits sticking out here, they just reminded me sort of of a cat's whisker. And that adds to a little bit more detail and breaks up that black glitter. And that brings out the orange in the cat's eyes as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch all my upcoming videos. Any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good day. Bye bye.